Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out the video. In this video I'm going to show you some of the new features of Tweet Editor 4 and at the end or sometime during the video if you have some more questions or you want to see a little bit more about how it works feel free to check the link in the description and that will take you to their website. So um, I'm going to get started with how Tweet Editor 4 has totally changed because now it's following the Twitter OAuth API, which basically means that it's following the, the rules and regulations that Twitter that Twitter enforces. Now what that means is if you are using Tweet Editor 4 to save time on Twitter and get more Twitter followers and uh, have a more effective Twitter marketing strategy, uh, that means that you're basically not putting yourself at risk for getting banned from Twitter or suspended from Twitter. Um, Tweet Editor 4 and um, Twitter have come up with a, a just an agreement where they they're, they're going to actually let them continue to use this software in a way that is not going to get anyone in trouble when it comes to just getting suspended. That's pretty much all that can happen. But uh, allow them to use the software to keep marketing and make more money on Twitter and get more followers on Twitter without actually breaking those rules, such as um, you know following excessively and there's a bunch of different things that they they don't allow but basically so here are some of the new features uh, what you're looking at right now is the Twitter interface here through tweet adder 4 and you can see that I have five Twitter accounts only two are running right now and I can automate these at any time and one of the new features is there's a lot new a lot more filters that you can use to uh, get the best experience out of Twitter as well as uh, the OAuth API that you're hooked up straight through Twitter and um, it's real time completely real time so uh, right now I'm here and I'm gonna go to my Twitter account and show you the tweet search so one thing that I like to do is look for people that follow back so that if I follow them I know they're gonna follow me back on Twitter it's a great way to build your following. It's simple, it's easy, and that's what I'm doing right now. This is searching for people that are saying team follow back, which means that they're going to follow you back on Twitter. I'm going to stop that there. This is everyone that's tweeting team follow back right now, and this is showing when they tweeted. Um, do, they te do they tend to follow people usually when they follow back? It's going to show all that information. So this guy has 934 followers, 1901 friends. Um, he tends to tweet a lot, and so you can follow him right there. And uh, then there's the profile data search where you can type in, let's say you're looking for someone who is an architect or a dancer or something. You just type that in, and it's going to look in everyone's profile on Twitter that is an architect. Um, another type of thing that you can use is the location search. So let's say that you have a, um, a restaurant in a certain city. I'm just going to stop this now just for the sake of moving on. Um, let's say you live in a certain city and uh, let's say you live in Santa Barbara and you are because you have that restaurant in Santa Barbara you're looking for people that live in Santa Barbara so you can market your website. I'll stop it right there. These are all people that live in Santa Barbara, and it's talking about, um, you know, what they're doing, where we're going, and then you can become friends with them and let them know, um, you know, we're having a special uh, happy hour today from six to nine or whatever, and get people to come into your restaurant. So that's a great marketing tool. Uh, this is a feature that shows who's not following you back on Twitter, and who just unfollowed you. These are all new things that you can use. Uh, who doesn't have a profile image? This tends to show that these people have fake Facebook, uh, uh, Twitter accounts, or they're just not really seriously engaged, so it's not really that important to follow them. Um, there's also high ratio, which, which basically means those people that have a high ratio of following to follow back uh, ratio. These are the people that you want to be following you and the people that you want to follow because it's likely that they're going to follow you back. There's also a filter that shows you who's inactive, things like that, um, who's talkative, who's quiet. These are all things that are going to help you find who is um, 
a follower that is probably not real or just, you know, they haven't been on Twitter for two years or something. Um, you can still automate your tweets right here, automate your retweets, uh, get an RSS feed set up so that it's automatically tweeting for you. You can set up a thank you message so that people will automate, um, that you'll send them a thank you message uh, when they decide to follow you. And that's a great tool as well. So um, with that being said, these are just some of the features there. There's some other um, information that you can check out on the official tweet at a website, and I left that link in the description. So feel free to check that out. Hope you guys found the video helpful, and feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comments area. Um, so with that being said, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.